Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing some Brood deck and like I've said, today is gonna be the day with a double upload because, well, I missed the upload the other day, so I kinda want to make it up for you right here. And in the first game we're gonna be up against Iman69, who's gonna be playing Machine Gun with some questionable support options, but uh, yeah. It's up to him to build the best deck before the game and if he doesn't succeed it's on him that he will just drop some 4 medals because uh, I don't see synergy between these cards and usually if you want to be competitive you at least want to have a good deck. This can wheel will connect to my tower so that was unfortunate. I didn't respect this attack enough but it's still fine we are still in the lead despite a horrendous blunder probably because his mistake was way greater than mine uh, at the beginning of the year so right now i'm gonna actually use blitz like if he didn't play digger i would be actually comfortable with uh, with uh, sucking some damage on this tower and just going brute instantly but since he played digger like i'm um, up mana anyway and i can also prevent all that free damage so we're gonna be playing right now brute followed up by mother devil we're gonna be playing bomber hopefully this bomber okay this bomber won't be seeing the cannon wheels but we'll see the opposite bomber and right now we're gonna just go for two lanes we're gonna go for blitz here so our runners survive longer and pose a bigger threat to my opponent mother devil will connect one runners will connect to a viking tower right now iman is just desperately trying to hold on i'm gonna even get more bullets value and i think that just closes the game because there was nothing he could do and uh, it's not the high tier game by any means but you will win many games just by playing solidly in boom arena so if you uh, if you just want to sound to have some fun, uh, I highly advise to play some of these cheese decks I pose because, well, these decks kinda uh, aren't very versatile and good player will punish you for using them, but when you win with them, it's gonna be usually like a total steamroll and you'll be feeling very happy about yourself. And in game number two, we're gonna face Oscar MVP and we're gonna see what Oscar MVP actually shows us because I didn't play that dude, obviously that's the case with many Boom Arena players, but to be fair, I've played this game uh, for quite a while and I think I kinda recognize most of the like, at least top player base, so like, every new player is like the new opportunity to revolutionize the game in some way, it's not uh, uh, always successful, in a fact, it's not usually successful, but like, they have their shot and I absolutely don't want to take it out of them. So right now we're gonna just go for runners on the opposite side. One, because we can and two, because he's very dry on mana and right now that's like the best time to punish it. I'm gonna play Blitz here and one runner will actually get to the tower and that's gonna be a very huge connection. Scoring four shots, maybe fifth, there we go. And yeah, we're just in a comfortable lead because my opponent, which is Oscar MVP, didn't bring with himself any damage to tower except I believe it was a spell damage, I may be wrong. I'm gonna play Bomber here and that's gonna be absolute counter to a phone keg because he didn't play it on, uh, on the center of the tower. He played it a little offside and in this case Bomber is absolutely fabulous, that's why I usually like to react with Bomber against a phone keg just to kinda skill check my opponent if he uh, if he responded correctly, so right now I'm gonna just play bullets here. My runner will get to the tower and I think that's gonna be tower down because he's gonna get just this millisecond, uh, millisecond faster to the tower and there we go. Mother Devil will chip on uh, the viking tower but I, I've run out of the steam and my opponent just throws the rolling steel, I think that's the good sign that he's just resigning the game, so I'm gonna just give him a good game. Uh, 
In the hindsight, it wasn't like the very competitive game, but like it's just a good mannerism to leave the GG after the game has been finished. And right now we're gonna be facing against Vayne. So Vayne is a 730 player, like you can see. I believe he had like 1.4k finish uh, at some time in the past. So definitely not like any random player. He definitely has what it takes to well be good at this game. And he's going playing Steel Bait. So Steel Bait is one of the hardest matchups for this deck because like I don't really have any uh, reliable um, way to counter uh, to counter his bomb girls and let alone this uh, double uh, skelly keg so we're gonna just counter the bomb girl hope for the best unfortunately I had a very awkward cycle so that's gonna be a very bad sign for us I'm gonna actually suck the damage from this two st stone phones and just wait for double like against bait usually what you want to do like, yeah like uh, as a beatdown player is just survive to a double and uh, when that happens you can usually start making plays but before that we're gonna be uh, trying to just yeah hold on i'm gonna play drunker here just to force out some response and I kind of hope that I'm gonna get something bigger, so... Okay, well, I'm gonna play Mother Devil. I don't think it was the best play on my part in hindsight, but... Well, it, this skeleton keg was kind of annoying, so I just got rid of it. I'm gonna right now play some runners on this bomb girl. And yeah, I'm, he's gonna be playing phone keg, so it just gives me more reasoning to uh, play my bullets i really didn't want to but he, he's just at this point just steamrolling me but one push is all it takes for me to come back so i'm gonna just bank it all on that i'm gonna get the skeleton keg probably full counter because right now super okay super devil won't be able to fully counter but it was very close and for my for my needs is absolutely enough. I'm gonna be playing right now Drunker and a Bomber and once again, like you see, playing a playing a Bomber, it was a very good choice. I'm gonna right now play Brute on the opposite side, kinda trying to break through on both sides. I'm gonna try to get these bullets going and unfortunately we won't be getting too much damage out of this attack. And I think I didn't spoke too soon because, well, <clears throat> it's, it's just not working out. And like I've said, it's gonna be a very difficult matchup for us to bring it home. He's gonna be playing actually a... Actually a phone hut, so that's gonna be this. I'm gonna be playing bullets as soon as possible. Hope to get some value out of that. I'm gonna right now just try to... Uh, play as many things at the bridge as it's possible I'm gonna get as many damage as it's possible right here and right now I just have to kinda defend like like a monster and hope that it's enough so I'm gonna right now wait a bit I'm gonna play Drunker I'm gonna follow it up with Brute I'm gonna play a Blitz defensively so I don't die instantly and right now it's pretty much our last shot to deal any damage so I'm gonna Play bullets here and hope for some connection and this brute is very close but i don't think it's gonna be enough so yeah vane will take this game home and it was very close so yeah gg's from both sides like you've seen a little respect out of uh, the opponent is always nicely seen unfortunately with this type of decks you won't be winning every game because well they're just players that will defend and uh, absolutely do not create any opening and that was the case in this game but we've managed to get very close so yeah let's jump to the next game and we're gonna be back against Oscar MVP who from our encounter lost some medals so I believe while we were playing with Vayne he lost his game as well and he was losing against like equal rated opponents so very unfortunate for him I'm gonna 
still try to beat him because, well, four medals are four medals. And if he manages somehow to defeat me, he's gonna double his medal count. So, okay, that's gonna be a very slick play out of him. He probably thinks that I won't be having a good response on hand. But unfortunately for him, that's not the case. I'm gonna be having absolutely perfect response in, like, bullets. It is, like, in my opinion, actually the best response to Devil Horde in the game. Even though there are, like, responses that give you better mana traits or give you a counter push, bullets pretty much are the most solid counter because, like, they cannot be stopped at all. So I'm gonna just play Brute here, and if my opponent doesn't defend, it's gonna be 3 stars. So, yeah. Okay, he's gonna play Devil Horde, which is, like I've said, bullets are the best response, but unfortunately, somehow, some way, he has the faster cycle than I do, so uh, I won't be able to play bullets. I'm gonna right now try to play a bomber and try to do some fancy kiting, and I think that was pretty successful because for two mana, I'm only getting two shots on the tower. Obviously, the kiting would have been better uh, given the fact. I mean, given the fact, provided that uh, all devils would be on one side, because then I would get full kite, and right now I just got a partial kite, where I uh, kinda had to also suck some damage. Okay, so my opponent will just bank uh, on this attack, and I just don't think it's a good investment idea, because I can just play a brute right now. I can kill those devils, and right now I kinda ask the questions, what's the plan of yours, and I don't see the response just now, because I'm gonna just play Drunker and Runners, and I don't see my opponent Oscar MVP ever responding to that, because if he ever plays a Devil Horde, I'm gonna just play bullets on it, and he probably knows that, so yeah, that's gonna be a very well done game, and with that, we're gonna jump to the fifth game of the video. And right now, we're gonna be playing against Smoke. So, Smoke, uh, I don't remember what he was actually playing. There are many players that are, that are kinda there, uh, very near their leaderboards, but not quite there. So, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna just play Brute on the opposite side. Since he played a flying robot, there's no re need for me. To rush because I still can defend with Super Devil, at least most of the annoying things, and I'm gonna set up my attack uh, myself. And he misplaced his balloon, so that's gonna be a full counter by me, and that's gonna be very nice. I'm gonna play right now <coughs> some pressure on both sides, and that's gonna act actually pay off because, well, I will be having a very strong attack on both left and right hand side. And he will have to spend some mana to defend both, and I'm getting just beautiful damage on both sides, so whichever side he uh, flying robots, I'm gonna be able to just counter push on the other end, like, that's pretty much the best case scenario you can get against flying robots, so I'm gonna actually be playing Brute here, there's no reason to not to, and after that I'm gonna be playing Mother Devil since... Okay, he's gonna try to actually get some cards out of my hand, and while it's smart thing to do, I don't think it gives him any favors, because right now he doesn't need a... Uh, he doesn't need a, a lead, he needs a comeback, and uh, I don't think he gets it. However, he shuts down my push very well, so I'll give him that, and right now we're just gonna head into double mana, and hopefully we can come this, uh, we can make this uh, game not close, or what I was, what I was mean to say. Uh, so I'm gonna be playing a brute in the back, I think that going the same lane wouldn't be a bad idea either, but I'm gonna go runners here, I'm gonna go for some bullets, Runner will get only one hit, so that's very unfortunate. I'm gonna play... Yeah, I'm gonna play Super Devil here. So I'm gonna just create some pressure on him to defend, and... Uh, he has to defend. That, that's... <coughs> that's the reality of the situation, because if he doesn't, or he does it poorly, 
I'm gonna just get this push rolling and at this point I don't think he has even chances of coming back because his second tower falls down and he doesn't have enough time to come back. There we go. So that's gonna be a game against Flying Robot, very instructive because this matchup is very easy to uh, win, but only if you kind of know what you're doing. And in this particular example, I think I've made it kind of clear what moves you have to do against Flying Robot to win every time. I'm not gonna actually play one more game in this video, and yeah, we're gonna be playing against Legendary who has 33 medals, which is very impressive score it means like he has won at least three games in boom arena and that's already huge and he's gonna be playing helicopter in the bridge i am absolutely fine with that i'm gonna just ignore it and play brute in the back I'm, he's gonna also play fall Hort at the bridge and i'm gonna also ignore it because my deck isn't about controlling the pace of the game but about stacking one big push and just killing your enemy straight away because you, if your enemy loses a viking tower the game is over so you might as well just go for the for the money i'm gonna play runners here and actually he is gonna be able to defend um, my push with uh, brute and mother devil very well so i'm gonna be trying to get some damage on the opposite side and i think that was pretty successful this, okay, this uh, footman did some damage, but I don't think it was enough for him. I, if I were to choose any of this position, I would choose obviously my position because uh, the damage is very conveniently split between my towers and he has a very clear weakness which I can exploit. So I'm gonna just set up here a brute mother devil push. And as soon as it's possible, I'm gonna just play runners on the opposite side because, well, as you gotta do. Actually, what I also can do is play a uh, bullet a blitz combo on his on his footman, and that way I'm gonna get a break. And I think I kinda like the second option more if he plays full. Okay, he he plays footman now, so I kinda missed that window and achieved anything. That's why you kinda have to stick to your original plan most of the time I kinda tried to make a compromise between these two and it didn't work out like that's why you kinda need to optimize your strategy in terms of efficiency because if you want to try to do any everything at the same time you won't achieve anything and that's why my opponent is just defending with a high efficiency and then playing a balloon with freeze and that's why he brought my tower very low so that's a good example of optimizing your plans. Right now I'm gonna optimize my plans by killing this helicopter and a chunk of phone horn. And right now I'm gonna just try to get rid of this food one because well, if I don't, I kinda don't think I'm gonna be winning. And right now I'm gonna just play bullets, hope for some things. That was very nice, but I don't think it was enough. And right now we are just in a pickle because yeah, my opponent will just <coughs> play this and... Okay, so I think that's not gonna be enough. Uh, I don't love to end a video on a loss. I should have definitely blitzed a helicopter as well. But yeah, th that's gonna be it for today's episode. My opponent played very well and I kinda underestimated him. I should be way more careful against footmen and um, yeah... It's not a fault of the deck though, it's well, it was the fault of my gameplay, it definitely isn't on top of uh, what I used to do back in the day, but yeah, I was kinda sick uh, yesterday, so I'm still kinda recovering, I'd love to get myself back into the my peak form very soon, so I'm gonna uh, be able to upload more quality videos for you guys, and yeah, if you're hearing this, then it must that you've reached the end of the video. And if you watch the entire thing, I highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already, so you don't miss my daily uploads every day, except like yesterday, because I kind of was uh, feeling very sick. But yeah, without further ado, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Umarina.